Ladies and gentlemen, a little prolegomenon is necessary before we proceed to the next video in which I'm going to show you how to browse the internet over DOS via the Bobcat browser. The Bobcat browser, with the Bobcat being a little Lynx, is a DOS version of the famous Lynx browser that you know perhaps for Linux, Unix, even VMS. And you can find Bobcat on ibiblio.org. You see here the path and Bobcat 6 x is the one that we need. So this is going to be the browser that in all further experiments is going to be shown. You might however wonder, isn't there something like a catalog to pick from? Something where we see more than this one choice, and there is indeed. It is called fdisk.com. That used to be a wonderful website, but unfortunately it is no longer online. You can still find it over in the Wayback Machine. When you click on, for instance, 2014, because at some point afterwards things start to break down, you can still find, huh? let's go there for instance, a version of the web page, exactly where you can download the browsers. What is noteworthy is I'm using Bobcat 6 because this is what I found on iBiblio. Here, however, Bobcat 7 is also offered and you can indeed download it from here. Like if you would go here to Bobcat and press here, get Bobcat, if you click on that link, then it will offer you to get Bcat 07 x and you can truly have that. You see, I will now not download it, but it is entirely possible to do so and to transfer it to your book 8088 in order to keep up with the experiments that I'm going to show you. Bobcat 07 seems to be in the same version configurable as Bobcat 06. And here you can see several further browsers. So we're having a Lynx 2.8 for Windows 32 and the 386 Plus computer. But the book 8088 on which we're conducting our experiments is a more primitive machine. So we're not going to have that. DOS Lynx is the same thing as Bobcat only more primitive, less good. Here you see my old attempts at updating the functionality of DOS links and so on. So better keep with Bobcat. Arachne. I'm going to save a couple of words for Arachne just in a minute. And a couple of others that I am not all that acquainted with. But there is one in particular I would like to note, and that is Minuet. Minuet that you see here is a historically important browser for it was the first really widespread browser after the so-called line mode browser, the very first browser for DOS. And the line mode browser had the interesting property that you could enter absolutely no information into a page. You could not fill up forms. You could only type numbers to follow links and it was therefore pretty limited. Minuet allowed you to do way more and it supports more than just the www protocol. We shall be having later a more detailed look at Minuet in this channel. And finally, Arachne. The moment you mention the possibility of a DOS browser, this is what everybody is spouting at you. Arachne, Arachne. But have you only heard war stories or have you been down in the trenches with Arachne? I can tell you, Arachne, on a 486, it was an Omnibook 600C laptop with 8 megabyte of RAM, a machine about a dozen or two times faster than the Book 8088. On this machine, Minuet was un, uh, Arachne was unbearably slow. Just like in the romantic movies, the idiot gets the girl, but that is just not true or lightsabers in Star Wars, but they are just not real, or politicians keeping their promises, or similar ideas. The Arachne idea is sweet, but it just doesn't work. 
And so this channel will not concern itself with regard to Arachne on a book 8088. This is just, if it works, going to be the most frustrating experience in the world. In fact, to mind comes the myth of Arachne, who was a woman who challenged Athene in Greek mythology as to who could weave better. And Arachne did indeed weave a carpet or piece of cloth with scenes of the Greek gods, but unfortunately she depicted them in debauchery and in vile acts, wherefore she was punished with the shape of a spider by the goddess and condemned to web, to web cobwebs. Well, very similar is the story indeed of Arachne in practice. It is all just going to look like a great idea in the beginning and then totally break down. So no Arachne for us. We're going forward with Bobcat. And with Bobcat, await the next adventure.